Creating original content not only adds a personal touch to your feed, but can be a lot of fun. Come with our social team behind the scenes on our latest photo shoot as we share some of our best tips and tricks for a DIY photo shoot. Tip number one, think ahead. This week, we're shooting some content to promote our semi-annual sale, and since the weather is heating up, we'll be taking some photos featuring Coco Glow. Before you start shooting, think of any upcoming sales or relevant products that you think your customers would respond to. Tip number two, have a plan A and a plan B. When plan A doesn't work out, plan B it is. If the Bahamas isn't in your budget either, try using a TV screen as a backdrop. We pulled this beach footage from YouTube and added a mirror for this fun effect. Tip number three, get supplies. Props, decor, and backgrounds are a great way to add some flair to your photos. We get most of our props on Amazon, Target, or your local craft store, like the shopping cart. If you're feeling crafty, you can even make your own like I did with this mini shopping bag. Other things we love to incorporate include fake flowers, glitter, and Vivian's pet bunny Bernard. Tip number four, lighting. There are some key ways to get professional level photos without professional level training. The first is lighting. We're lucky enough to have industrial lights, but natural sunlight can rarely be beat. Open those blinds or head outside. Contrary to popular belief, a bright sunny day isn't always ideal and can create harsh reflections and shadows. Opt for an overcast day instead. Tip number five, editing. Another way to elevate your photos is through editing. Don't worry, you don't have to be a Photoshop expert. The social team uses apps like Canva, Lightroom, GoDaddy Studio, Mojo, and more. Head to the social section of our new training site for more details. Tip number six, don't give up. Practice makes perfect. I've taken thousands of photos during my time at Pure Romance and I still get frustrated when my shoot isn't going according to plan. For example, I wanted a Tetris style backdrop of toy boxes for this shot, but the boxes weren't lining up. Sometimes you have to rework things, change your plan, and if you're like me, throw a tantrum, push over the boxes, and try, try again. Now that you've joined us behind the scenes, check out the finished products. Now it's your turn. Try out your own DIY photo shoot and be sure to share them with us by tagging at official pure romance on Instagram and hashtag pure romance.